When you want to plot more than one thing on a graph, we start off with our initial plot command. Then we use the hold on function and we'll simply plot again. Hold on tells MATLAB that we're ready to plot more things on the same figure. And the figure is this whole element that I'm dragging around the screen. You can plot multiple things on one figure. If we just do plot xy, we'll know that the default will give us a line. If we plot this, here we see that we now have two things, two elements plotted on the same figure. Here we have the black diamonds and the solid red line. We can change that red line similar to how we change the black diamonds. If we want this red line to be a dashed black line, we would add K and dash. It actually may be a double dash for that one. There we go. And again, how do you check this? You go to help plot, scroll up, and you'll see the different options for the lines. A single dash is a solid line, and the double dash is going to be your dashed line. Let's plot an additional third set of data on this figure. We'll first need to define another x and y. Let's define an x1, same 1 to 10, and a y1 as 2 times x squared. Whoops. 2 times x squared. And now we can do plot x1, y1. Here now we see the second curve that we wanted plotted right here. Looks kind of ugly. It'd be good to give it a better color or a different color more importantly. Let's go ahead and make that blue. And let's make those blue triangles. And I also want to add the trend line for it. We'll do x1 and y1 again. And we'll make that trend line dashed blue. Now we are adding a third and a fourth element to our plot. And here we see clearly the y equals x squared curve and the y equals 2x squared curve. But now our y-axis doesn't make sense, so we need to change that to simply y values. And our plot should just be plot of squared curves to be more informative and inclusive of the new things we've added. But we can't tell which curve is which. We need to add a legend. To do this, we can simply add the legend command, and then we add things in order by which we plotted them. So the first element that we add to legend will come up first in the list on the plot. So if we just do this, you'll see that the blue diamond, excuse me, the black diamonds that we plotted first in the plot XY KD up in line six, that got assigned to first. Then the dash line was assigned to second. If we're looking to make this a proper list then we need to do this as y equals x squared and then y equals x squared trend. And now we have the actual data points and the trend line labeled appropriately. We can keep going and say y equals 2 x squared and then y equals 2x squared trend. And now we have appropriately labeled data with our legend. The legend can be clicked and dragged around the screen so you can view your full lines. You can also add default locations for the legend using the argument location and then providing coordinates such as north, east, south, and west. I guess those are actually more like cardinal directions. But I want this in the northwest portion of the graph because it won't interfere with any of the lines that I plot. And there we see the legend appears appropriately there. That concludes this video on adding multiple plots on a single figure.